too many video games? Yes. You lots. do? Lots. Lots. Wow. Yeah, this is cool. The more you dig, dig. The more I dig, the better it gets. Yeah. Hey guys, how are you going? Oh wow. This is my stuff. Yeah, right. This is my loot. Unreal. Yeah, I was talking me through it. You've always got a bunch of clothes. Okay. Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, here we go. It's Apollo. Oh, that's Freya. an old school, old school Freo, hey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. On the, oh yeah. It's all like a Target branded thing as well. But it's old though at least. Yeah, yeah. Which is always good. What's that there? That looks cool. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah, that's really cool. And I got, yeah. Um, Bombers 2000. Yeah, yeah. We're still getting to the good stuff. Yeah, no, this is good stuff. You got a heap of good stuff. Yeah. You know what you're looking for. Yeah, Roger. Oh, well, you're going to love them. Some running shoes. Ah, uh, no. Nice oh, free boots. Yeah, it's always interesting with those metal studs, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got like a little handle thingy as well. Yeah, just to get them out. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Pretty much they are white new, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So that's ten and a half. All right, well that's really cool. Um, and then you, these shoes. So you got, how, do you have any video games? Yes. You lots. do. Lots. 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 Oh, over there. Get that grey or counting. <laughs> that's epic. Yep. Toy Story three. These yeah, are cool shoes. Actually, yeah, I can't seem to sell them. I should be able to sell these. They're a US ten and a half women's. Yes, yeah, someone threw them in the dumpster. Wow. It's amazing what people throw away, huh? Yep. That's incredible. Yeah. I thought I'd save them for you. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's perfect. Uh, let's have a look. You said you had some video games. Yeah, I do. Sorry, I, I just get distracted a lot. Sorry. No, I'm you're not. Like... Not at all. Not at all. This is awesome. And there's all in there as well. And in there too. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Do you see many games out and about? Yeah. Well, they picked over. I feel like everyone wants to... Well, someone dumped a whole heap on the curb, literally brand new. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Full sealed up? Yeah, basically. Oh, wow. That's when you just grab those, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost need to help yourself. Seriously. They're a good one to actually transport back to. Oh, definitely. Because you're always going to be thinking about the weight whenever you do any travel. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, i just got to get that bird. Yeah, keep, keep on top of it. Princess, stop it. What are we doing? You're getting bored. So the ones uh, I've written price tags on them. So basically, that's pretty much what they're worth. Yeah, how much they'll resell for. That's it. Yeah, but there is more grails on that other one. Oh, cool. <laughs> Explain how many grails are found though. Yeah, you got good stuff. Yeah. Some of these games I actually haven't like heard of to even know. Oh really? You know the um the actual comps on them. <laughs> Might have to do some scanning. Yeah, I already did all that, and I was just like, yeah, they're above $20. Most of them, are they? Yeah. Oh, really? But yeah, that's a, I think that's about $15, dollars one, that one. Yeah, nice. What do you like to sell the most? What vacuums. Are you in? Really? Dyson V6, vac V6 vacuums. What, an actual certain type? Or V7s. Really? Yeah. It's what, why is that? They just turn? Huh? They just turn quick. <laughs> She's like, I yeah. Up, I pick them up next to nothing. Yeah. And I'm flipping them close to three hundred dollars. Jesus. And in twenty-four hours. In twenty-four hours, I was going to say your sell-through must be quick. And you're doing it on um, on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Wow. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool stuff. Pokemon Sun. Where'd you find this? In the skip. <laughs> Really? Jeez. Pokemon what? What's that? Omega Ruby. Yeah, that's another Pokemon game. Omega Ruby, that's interesting. Unfortunately, there, there's no game in that one. It's still, even the but, case. Um, the case, yeah. uh, you could still pick it up from the flea market and stick a game in there. So talk to me about all of these. Did you find them somewhere? Yeah. Um, in the skip? Not the PlayStation 1s. No. Bubsy 3D. It gets better. The more you dig, dig. The more I dig, the better it gets. Yeah. 
Wow, Die Hard, that's awesome. You know what? It, it, the condition of them is like immaculate. I know, the lady looked after them. Did she ever? Yeah. Oh wow, there's so many. I know. How cute Stuart Little. Stuart Little, yeah, on PlayStation 1. Yeah, I thought that's kind of cool. That's just rad, hey? Yeah. And that, that's sort of that your resale, sort of you can get Anywhere. between that to that. Just a varied, varied yeah. range, time yeah. crisis. If you had the gun on that, the time crisis gun, that goes really well. You should be able to pick one up. Oh, definitely. <laughs> then you got Tekken? Yep. Yeah, wow. So. What's that? Too extreme? That's the comps between that and that. Wow. That you can so fetch for that one game. 50 to 120, 50 to 75. Yeah, that's these. I comped it to make a metal note of it. Yeah. You can just sort of sell these as a bundle. Oh, yeah, Tony Hawks. Yeah. So you got Underground 2 Pro Skater, and then there was another one in here somewhere. Oh, I must have missed bundling that <laughs> one then, dang it. Tony Hawk Project 8. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Need for speed. I think I ran out of pen at that point. Yeah, just too much going on. <laughs> Okay, so that Grand Theft Auto is your grail. That's the grail, hey? Yeah, wow. Look at that. 120. $120 game. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> Want to show the audience that it's scratch free, damage free? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I th I can, you can already tell that it is. I mean, you don't often see PS1 games that look like mint. Right. So that's. um. And all I had to do was go get my bird. Yeah. And I've hooked you up. Look at that, that is mint. <laughs> that is a mint disc. Mm-hmm. Wow. No, that's very, very cool. And see, we even got all the maps. It's got all yeah. the manual, so it's a full complete. Mm-hmm. Someone would absolutely love that. That's gonna be like a sweet little profit. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, when you get it for nothing, <laughs> It's a monster profit. And then what else have we got? We got count, career crisis. Never even heard of that. Yeah, you can get seventy five for him. Seventy five on that. American Chopper. Yep. On Xbox Original. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I know. And Pandemonium. And you got I AFL. thought that one's interesting. Yeah, just very old. That'd be like almost in the nineties, ninety nine. AFL ninety nine. Yeah. True, but I was just like, oh, that's like. <laughs> Robert Harvey. Yeah. And then what else we got? So that's all the PS1s. Oh, there's, oh, no, there's a couple here. More. We're still going. <laughs> We're not done yet. Oh, wow. E.T. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 20th anniversary too. Yeah. Jeez, that's awesome. Kind of ran out of hand. Then <laughs> guys. <laughs> and so you got Total and the 7 Yeah, you might be able to sort of bundle up the sort of low end $20 ones. That's okay. I'm even happy to sell them off. Yeah, on a individual. Yeah. Cool Borders, mm -hmm. Jet Racer, Wind Surface Paradise, Wild Rapids, <laughs> Mayhem. And what's yep. this one here? Just the pop hits. Yeah, it's like new and sealed kind of thing. Yeah, so. which is always good. Yeah. And then this one here. Oh, Jinx, that's good. Yeah. Jinx is a great game. Star Wars Dark Forces. Yeah, that's just 75 to 100. 75 to 120. Want to check if it's mint condition? <laughs> it is. is I, I can tell you right now. All of these, you just know they are after having a look at the okay. others. Yeah. Not required. So what do you got there? You got Doctor Who trilogy, Red Curtain trilogy. These are all there. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, the Monarch. Monarch. Mm -hmm. Monarchy series one to three. There you go. Duchess. Yeah. Vanity Fair. BBC, you know, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll put that. Add another surprise to you. Oh, yeah, there's another one here. Speed Freaks. Speed Freaks, yeah. I just love the fact that you've got these PS1 games. Yeah. Very, very cool. Oh, thank you. So Cal's just had to duck out for a second and I'm just starting to build up a bit of a pile here with a few different things that I'm liking the look of. Obviously all the PlayStation 1 games um, I think are going to be a pretty good grab if we can get them for a good price. Um, there is so much stuff here on this table, it's actually pretty crazy and it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, I don't have a heap of time here, it's just a couple of hours, so I am trying to scan up as much as I can. But like with all of these trips, 
um, it really just does come down to the weight of the item because I've got to put it into my suitcase, I've got to pay for baggage uh, to go back home. So um, I'm really going to be strategic about what we take today. I've got some really good clothing um, that I've got here so far, um, which I'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit where I end up getting picked up. But cows just run home. I'm going to spend some time now just sorting through everything and picking out, uh, picking out what I want. Just trying to think of what else. This is actually probably going to come in handy, actually. Yeah, it's pretty sick bag. Right? Yeah, I don't actually have one, so. No, it's yours. What? What is that? And then this has been the biggest thing because I was going op shop hunting to try and find one of these. Yep, because I didn't bring one. And that's a surprise for you on that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Surprise in here. Mm-hmm. You're welcome to put it on the camera. Like, film. In there? No, you're welcome to film. Oh. Film it. It's film worthy. Where is it? In this it's one? It's in here. Oh, in there. It's in here. It's a little surprise for you. This could be anything. Well, maybe it's in this one. What have we got here? A it's, it's in here. Oh, it's in, it's in here. here. It's in here. It's in there. Yeah. You're filming? I'm filming. Sick. Okay. <laughs> this is a little gift for coming. Really? A gift for coming? Geez, that's way too kind. Do you have to do that? Let's have a look. The moment of truth. Oh. Oh. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. That is cool. That is cool. People love this stuff, hey? Mm -hmm. Vintage hardjacker on a second, on a second. What's the story behind this? Found it in a dumpster. Found it in a dumpster. Jeez. Yeah, that is, um, that's incredible. And a gift. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That's way too kind. You're probably going to be spending enough today anyway. Yeah, I'll be buying a fair bit of stuff off you. Yeah. But that's way too nice. This is like one of the best things in here. Can't do jeans. People are going to be killing me on the uh, video right now. They're going to be saying, why aren't you taking these jeans, Matt? But it's, it, they're just too heavy. Yeah. Um, and Cal's going to put them up on eBay when she starts uh, when she starts selling. So they're going to be some good items for you to hold on to, I think, anyway. Yeah, okay. Cal move all of the other stuff back into her storage unit and I had a bit of a look around as to how she goes about her operation. All of her stuff is sold on Facebook Marketplace and she wants to get into eBay. We're going to help her with that uh, but it was really cool to see some of her better stuff that she had in the unit. I found some more games and it was now time to go back home and do the negotiation. set up hey that was a lot of fun uh, yeah that tell me about it a heap of fun <laughs> yeah we uh we've spent about an hour and a half going through all of this i've got a lot of video games which is obviously you know what i'm starting to get into a whole lot more i've got a lot of dvds i've still got my sporting gear obviously that frio dockers vintage jersey was just probably the best thing i've seen today and apparently it's a present which yeah. is just insane yeah. um yeah but what we're going to do now is we're going to go through some price points and you've probably seen a few of these private picks right <laughs> I go out, I do the private picks, and I actually just go through every single item individually, more for you guys that are watching back home, just to get a bit of an idea about why I'm buying it for that price, and then I'll tell you guys how much I think I can go on to sell it for. Um, so let's start off maybe with a couple of hats. I've got this Ferrari hat, and I also like the Stussy or the Stussy hat there as well, so I'm always picking up my hats. How much would you like to sell these two for? Let's work on some price points. I reckon this, this, could be, this could be entertaining. I'm looking forward to this negotiation. $10 each. We're going to go 10 bucks. I'm, I'm happy with 10. Uh, we should do pretty well there with the hats. Uh, they're two of the best that we saw out of the mix today. Ferrari's a good one. Ka-ching, genuine. Yeah, genuine Ferrari. So I'm happy to go with 10 on that. We'll just see how we go. I'm not sure what the sell-through rate will be. Um, this is an old school sort of Stussy hat as well. So um, 10 bucks a piece. It's not too bad. Not um, terrible. Hopefully, hopefully we'll make some <laughs> Not money. Not too broke. <laughs> um, these are a really cool pair of Nikes. Uh, I found these as well. They're in pretty much brand new condition. Um, you said you found them, yeah? Yeah, someone threw them out. Someone threw them out. They're a 10 and a half. Give me a price on those. So $35 on the shoes. Yeah. I'd probably... I'd or probably, make an offer. I'd probably be 20. 20, okay. Add it in there? Yep. 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Up to 40. What <laughs> yeah. about these two little guys? I don't know too much about these. Is there, is there a price you'd be happy to move them on for? I don't know exactly. I don't, I don't know who these are, but I know that the brand 
Ambiano. Amiibo. Amiibo. <laughs> Amiibo. Do you know much about these Amiibos? Uh, I think that they might be a collector. Yeah, some of them go well, some of them don't. It's a bit of a mixed lottery one, mate. Uh, what do you reckon? Just $10 for both of them. 10 bucks all up, five each? Yeah. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five each. Done. Um, some DVDs. We've got three seasons of the TV show Scorpion. We've got Doctor Who. This is a trilogy set uh, on DVD. And I've also found myself this one as well, which I liked, which was the complete series season one to three of Monarchy as well. So three sets of DVDs. Do you have individual pricing on these? Do you want to do per the C, no, DVD? So we've got three, six, there's nine. Have you got a per DVD price? You did check the soul comps with them. Yeah, four, the, four seasons. If I can track down number four, yeah. that'll go well. Yeah. Yeah. 20. 20 for the three? Yeah. And how much for this one? That one goes for about 25. Yeah, yeah. Five. So five and this one here. Same story. Another five. Five. I'd go, that one there, I'd go 10. Okay. On that one. Okay. So that'd be 20 sure. bucks. All right, now, you want to do, let's do some clothing. Yeah. <laughs> let's do some clothing now. Sorry, I got a back into clothing again. Yeah, well, sports clothing I'm always going to continue with. And if I hold a few up here, this one here was a really cool Western Force uh, jersey that we found. This one was just a Cricket Australia top, but... I don't know, I don't mind it. The cricket season's just about to start, so I'm happy to go ahead and look at that one. Um, this one was just crazy. That one was just a, uh, a vintage hard yakka Fremantle Dockers jersey. That's just too You good. can list that for $350. Well, yeah, pretty much. It's an absolute ripper. Um, that one there, we've got a, uh, an Essendon 2000 uh, vintage T-shirt, which I just love to find. Um, this is a bit more generic, a bit more sort of mainstream, the, the St Kilda Footy Club uh, jumper there, but still pretty cool. Um, this was, again, another vintage Frio polo shirt, so I'm sure that's going to do pretty good. I had to grab that when I saw it. Uh, we've got a vintage Carlton. Um, this is just a kid's jersey, but it's still really nice. It's got 33 on the back. Uh, and then we've got a, a more modern-day um, Fremantle jersey uh, there as well. So we've got a number of items here. How do you want to go about pricing on it? Do you want to do it individually? Do you want to do it just per unit times by eight? You'd probably get, uh, would you get about 50 for that one. Yeah, jerseys, I think, probably 50. 50 to 70 for that one? Yeah. Um, 10? Yep. Uh, that one's 10. That one would be more. Five? Yeah. Because I'd see a $35. Be five on that. Um, so what's that so far? So we're doing 10? Yep. On the Western Force jersey, we're doing uh, five on the Essendon. We're doing five on the Cricket. Yep. I could do 10 on that. Yep. How much on this one? I've got no idea what that would sell for. You could get some good money for it because being Target and made in Australia. So there's... To show the audience what we're dealing with right now. So we've got this, which is the official logo, obviously. Mm. And then it's made in Australia. Target tag. Target tag. And still made in Australia or cotton. So, which means it's breathable, lightweight, and awesome. <laughs> because I can't find the words right now. Yeah. Um, I think I have, I think you could potentially get 75, Dragon. 80 for that. Really? I think you could. Wow. I mean, I can't see why you wouldn't. I mean, there would, there was a better, bigger audience on eBay, obviously, that would pay it. Yep. And because they would remember, you know, oh, remember going to, down to Target and having all that footy gear? You Which know? they don't do now. Yeah. 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 So, you know, that holds value itself. The fact, you know, it didn't, you can't get this kind of quality anymore. So. 15? Yeah. 15 bucks. Yeah. 10, 10? Yeah. So that's another $35. Yeah. On top of what was $30. Yeah. So 65. Yeah. 65 in clothing. Um, all right, now while you were out, I did some comp searching on all of these and there was a few that I left behind because they weren't worth too much money. Oh, oh well. There's a few though per, I don't know when these got written out, but they, they weren't like a 50 to a 75 on Rascal. And if you want to have a, have a bit of a look on your phone, just have a look and see. Best comps I was seeing for that, I think was around $40 on that one, as was this okay. one here. So. While there's sort of 50 to 70, I'm seeing there was a lot more sort of, and there was a lot more in here, like this one here, Die Hard. 
that one was around 25 to 30 bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and I did look at the sold comps. Yeah, I was, I was going through the solds as well. So what I'm happy to do with you is if you want to just barcode scan, verify, do your comp solds just to see that they, not all of them reflect this sort of 50 to 75, especially the ones that were priced up. Like this one here for 75 to 120, I think there was one comp for about 60. Mm -hmm. And then there was another comp for about 35 or so. Oh, bummer. So I think that's more like a $50 game. Okay. So if I'm looking at these price points, okay. on, on this one here, AFL, that's more about 20 Okay. So yeah. I don't know how you want to go about it, whether you want to just go through and verify the comps on eBay for these. Um, that one there, Pandemonium, there was one that sold for 44 Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm the, easy. So they were just a touch under the lower end number yeah, yeah. that are on these. Yeah. Um, I really went through and, and there was a few that I even just left back in the box, back in the thing. That's okay. These were all kind of 15 to 20 to 25. Yep. Um, that was just kind of a, a running mix. There was a few that I haven't even looked at there that I pulled out of the, the storage shed with you. Mm -hmm. um, so they're going to be more 25. That one there though, Pokemon Sun Ruby. So that one goes for about 50. Okay. So that, that's a good, and that's also 50 for a disc only. So that's actually one of the best of everything. Hell yeah. The disc only, believe it or not. Wow. Um, so we're talking, uh, that's why I've separated them. These PS1s are awesome. Yeah. These are more, yeah, just bread and butter yeah, video yeah, game yeah. sort of winners. Yeah. I normally do $5 a game. Yeah. So we could look at five bucks a game and add all that up and I'm happy to do that. Mm -hmm. And then these, we could maybe do some comps and maybe look at more of a $10 per game. Yeah. If you're comfortable with yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So there'd be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90 dollars on all of those. That I'll do 20 if you're happy with that. Yeah. That'd be 110. <laughs> nice. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 70, 80, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280 bucks. On the video games. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> could we round it for 300? Sure. Oh, yes! <laughs> you got to negotiate. She said 300. We're going to do 300. Oh my God. Let, uh, let's show, let's see what Spud thinks. <laughs> this is what Spuddy thinks of the negotiation. <laughs> oh, I know. All right, so there you go, guys. I've gone through these games, and look, there's a few that are only worth 25, but then there's a few that are upwards of 45, 50 dollars. Um, that's just roughly going through the comps. We're going to do the PS ones as you saw there for 10 bucks a piece. It's going to be a little bit more with the negotiation, and all of those games up there are going to be five dollars with 20 dollars for a Ruby Rose. Um, I think it was was it Ruby Rose? No, that's the person. Ru uh, Omega Ruby, <laughs> Omega Ruby <laughs> for uh, for 20 bucks there as well. So. Yeah. $300 in video games. Let's add up all the others and we'll work out how much was spent today. $135, oh. <laughs> $435. $435. You happy? <laughs> yeah. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Well done. That's awesome. And this is what Spuddy thinks. Spuddy thinks it too. Mwah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's awesome. I really appreciate it. It's a, it's an awesome stack. It's going to sell well for me. Yeah. They were in excellent condition, which is the best thing about it. I know. Uh, we've got some awesome clothing and you've given me a Fremantle Dockers vintage jersey as a thank you. Did you know that she was giving one? Yes. Incredible. Honestly, I'm just, I'm blown away. You've been telling me about that jersey for weeks. How long ago did you find it? A few months ago. A few months ago. It's an absolute ripper. Um, and this will all get home with me too. It's all smaller items. It's not too much weight. So I'm not going to go over my 20 kilos. I was really strategically picking. I could have bought all the jeans today, but I didn't because they're a little bit too heavy. Um, that's, that's unfortunately the, I guess. But he's going to get me on eBay so I can sell them myself. We're going to get Cal on eBay. And we're going to do some, uh, some mentoring and get her up to speed and get her selling some stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, oh, did I just make a sale? Hopefully. Facebook marketplace sale. Yeah, I'm a Facebook marketplace person at the moment. Thanks, Cal. Oh, thank you. <laughs>